China has planned to step up efforts in enlarging its globally oriented network of high standard free trade areas in 2024. China International Trade Representative and Vice Minister of Commerce Wang Shouwen told a recent press conference that the country had already inked 22 FTAs with 29 countries or regions, and the combined trade value involved accounted for one third of the country's total foreign trade value. In a move to further share China's opening up dividends and power regional economic growth. China will enhance efforts on FTA negotiations in 2024, according to Wang. With the negotiations on version 3.0 China ASEAN Free Trade Area pending this week in Hangzhou, Wang vowed efforts to strive to complete the negotiations this year. The building of the China ASEAN Free Trade Area was completed in 2010. Customs data shows that. Trade between China and ASEAN since 2013 has logged an annual growth rate of 8.8 percent. In 2023, ASEAN remained China's largest trading partner for four straight years, and China as ASEAN's largest partner for several years as well. Experts believe that the upcoming version of the China-ASEAN Free Trade Area would also prompt the upgrade of regional comprehensive economic partnership. The purchase of the agriculture product from China benefit millions of Cambodian farmers. Why? Because it help to stable market for for farmers. It help our farmer to generate more income, and the purchase can create more job for Cambodian people.